Oh man, Mega Man 9. Now we're really getting started. Anyway, this is Tim once again from Project COE. Um, if you've seen any of my content on Project COE, you can probably guess I'm a pretty big Mega Man fan. I've played many of the games, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a long-time fan of the series. And when Mega Man 9 was announced, I got really excited. I mean, you know, this is another true Mega Man game. Like, the last the last main entry was Mega Man 8, and that was in 1997. You know, since then we've had Mega Man powered up and Mega Man and base, but those are more side games. So with Mega Man 9, you know, this is, you know, a return to form. This is something really cool. And anyone who's grown up with Mega Man and, like, anyone who grew up with the 8-bit games, any of those, like, sort of classic gaming era, um, it's really a, a, like, a bit of fan service for those. It's, you know, Capcom saying thanks and giving you this game. And a lot of people complained at first, saying, like, oh, well, why does this look like this? You know, why, why are the graphics really old? Why does this look this way? And really, I'd say to that, you probably just don't get it. Mega Man 9 is a retro throwback to the classic Mega Mans, like namely 1 through 6, especially 2. Um, it's supposed to be intended to be like an 8-bit classic title. It's, you know, a great bit of fan service for everyone. Um, it's a very simple game of design, but it's a bold statement in gaming. It's meant to say, hey, you know, a game can be simple and still be very fun and engaging. And that's what Mega Man 9 is all about. Um, at its core, it's really just like any other Mega Man's. You run, jump, and shoot. You pick a stage. You go through a themed level. You fight a certain boss. Get the boss's power. Uh, use that power in other levels. Fight at other bosses, and so on and so forth. Eventually, get to Wily's castle. And you beat the game. And it's a wonder that you know this gameplay formula is like 20 years old. So you think, well, you know, how could this possibly be any good? But when you start actually getting into it, you realize not only is it a great trip down memory lane because this whole like this whole aspect of you know being an older game, the the uh, nostalgia element to it, it's just very very well like well well designed and well thought out. The you know the the, the creative output of the developers is pretty amazing. You can tell a lot of heart went into the game. Um, it's like sprite work, for example, all the art design. It's very creative and very much in keeping with Mega Man's very childish, lighthearted, and colorful aesthetic. So, you know, it's kind of seeing this, you know, it, it does respond to your inner child. You're like, oh, this is a great game. It's like I used to play when I was a kid. And at the same time, it's level design and, you know, powers and everything else all mesh together really well. It's, you can tell, like, not only is it something that just, just responds to you on this factor of being based on an older game, it's actually a great game in its own right. So that's, you know, a huge plus. I mean, you go through these different stages, like, uh, like with Galaxy Man stage, there's a whole lot of different of creative elements to it that all responds to the stage theme. And, you know, Capcom could have easily just crapped out on us and made a very, you know, generic Mega Man game, slapped Mega Man 9 on it and said, here you go, and people would probably have gotten it just because it's Mega Man 9. But no, they gave us a really, really well, well-made well game. And, you know, as a longtime fan, I can attest to this, I was very happy with it. And I'm sure many of you will be too. Um, unfortunately, as far as length goes, it's a bit shorter in comparison. It's more like Mega Man 2's length, probably a little less. It's not nearly as long as 3. Um, but you can kind of tell that um, Capcom probably want to gear this game towards speedruns because the game does have like a time attack mode that keep, you know, keeps track of all your time in like a leaderboard fashion. So you know that, that's pretty cool. You have you have that aspect of having bragging rights to your friends, beating stages faster and faster. Um, plus, the game also has some other content like um, it has achievements and also has download content. And like for the download content, you get hero and superhero mode, which are these other difficulties. Uh, Proto Man mode, you get access to the character Proto Man, who's a longtime favorite for any Mega Man fan. And um, there's a special stage you can access, you can access as well as uh, the endless attack mode, which is sort of like you know a survival mode. And you know all these modes, you know, it's a bit extraneous from that, but still it's really cool that, make, that you know that have come decided to put this in, because on its own it's a great game. It's you know, to steal at ten bucks to get this. And getting all all the extra download content, you know, is like is a is a is a couple bucks for each thing. So it unfortunately it's not free like the powered up content, but still, you know, that's pretty cool. And um, it has to be stressed that Mega Man 9 is a very difficult game. It's a throwback to stuff that is, you know to the old games like on the NES in the late 80s. So anyone growing up in that area can pro can probably tell you that you know these games are hard. Uh, Mega Man 9's main gameplay mode is pretty difficult, but if, if you know if you're a long-time fan, you can easily hammer through it. But the hero and superhero modes, those ones are going to be a real test of skill. Um, and of course, getting all the achievements is insane. Like Mr. Perfect beat the game without getting hit once. How insane is that? 
and then you have, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff in the game. So it's a very complete package for Mega Man fans, and this is something that, you know, it's very nice that Capcom have Capcom have, have delivered to us. It's saying, hey, thanks for all your support, and here you go. So if you have any of the, any of you know the, of the major consoles, Xbox, PS3, or Wii, um, you, you know you can access any, you can access Mega Man on any of those download services. Um, all all the versions are pretty much the same. They're really is, is no is no noticeable difference. It's most, mostly lies in your console of choice and your controller of choice. I personally went with the Wii version because of that control, but you know besides that, there's not really much else to say. Um, as far as like you know t touching again the game's graphics and sound, you know the graphics, you know it's a great retro throwback. Sound, it's all MIDI chip tunes, all incredibly well done. It's in it's really really catchy, so I highly recommend it. W one of my favorite stages is Concrete Man stage because of this. It's a great great song. Um, and you know, all, all, all the boss powers are also really creative too. That's one thing you're like, um, the concrete shot and black hole bomb especially are essential for, for, for doing speed runs, and they're just very fun powers to use. So it's you know, really nice that not only is the game you know very fun to play, but all these enemies are really creative and well thought out. And the ending, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but it's a great bit of fan service. You know, it's it's hilarious, especially if you played all the games before it. So it, it's a real treat for any of you. Um, anyway, it, it's it's a good steal at 10 bucks, so I, it's highly recommended. And that's why we at Project, C Project COE gave this game a score of 9 out of 10, giving it a gold medal. Anyway, we'll see you next time.